Yeah, resume. All right. Um, this is an automatic recording. So, um, so again, to this, uh, the entire loop, uh, every activity you'll see on your, your board within a minute corresponds to a certain stage on, uh, of, of the, the endless loop. And the idea is to uh, improve your way of working uh, by investing money and you get, get uh, money by implementing features. That's the idea. Uh, make sure you don't spend everything at improving yourself because you might go bankrupt if something goes wrong and things can really go wrong. So the basic elements of the game are first the board. This is how the board will look like. Um, it starts with a queue here. The queue here is where you start um, planning your features and then you go through the, the cycle of planning um, code activities, build activities, test activities, and then you have your release, deploy activities. And once you're here, you can remove your, your, uh, your tokens from the board because then it's implemented. Uh, these aspects don't need implementation in the game, um, but you do need to make sure that you have the right um, performance level in order to, to deal with possible problems that might occur. So that's the idea of, of the board. Um, what you see here are placeholders. So this is just a spot on which you will put some cards. These are the cards. The cards have a front and a back side. So each activity, like you see on the placeholders, uh, there will be different cards. And each card has, um, it's not three, but four performance levels. It's from zero to three. Um, and each activity has uh, the stage in the loop, the name of the activity, the performance level, a description, what this is about, so what to, to what this corresponds. So in this case, level zero, performance level zero of your planning approach is plain waterfall, big specification up front. It doesn't cost you anything because of the default set. And Q and flow, I'll ex explain in a minute, but I'll better explain this on the board itself to get this uh, fully understood. Um, starting point is level zero. We are in uh, a mixed group. So once you would do this in your own organization uh, and you know your team or your teams you're working with, um, you know what their performance level is on each of these activities, then you really can apply um, the, uh, the activities, the, the, the levels that correspond to your situation to make it more realistic. So a card has a backside as well. In this case, for the plan approach, uh, you will see different symbols. These are symbols um, meaning what can go wrong. And, and an incident has a, that's, has a certain cost, but an incident also needs to be fixed. And then explanation of, of what occurred and what uh, explains what, what um, causes this cost. These symbols mean, in this case, it's about a security breach. You can have a bug. This is a system outage, uh, excessive load, and a performance issue. So uh, you will see by rolling a die, um, if a card has a corresponding symbol, then, then this incident occurs, and this is the cost you will need to pay for that um, activity. All right, there's different tokens. The middle one we're not going to use for lack of time. Um, this is about features, the things you want to implement, uh, the things that give you money. And the others are when things go wrong. You can have this one. This is a known vulnerability, a CVE. Uh, common vulnerability and exposure, which is in, in the uh, security space, someone detected an, uh, a vulnerability and you need to fix it as soon as possible because within two days you could be hacked. That's the idea. So you want to fix this as quickly as possible just to make sure you, you won't be impacted. Um, and then you have the incident tokens, the red ones. Um, these really have a cost. These don't have a cost. This one has a cost. Um, and then um, technical depth. This one is, is a, a technical depth. You could so do some, some cutting some corners at some points to, to uh, in, increase your velocity just to go deliver faster, but at the cost of quality. That is the idea of these orange ones. And you need to bring in a technical depth token. Um, and then it's up to you what you do. Are you going to leave it like this or are you going to fix this as, as quickly as possible? It's just up to you to plan this. There's two dice, 
the normal die, which um, makes sure you can progress along the board, and there's the incident die. As long as you haven't implemented anything, you won't be using the incident die. The normal die will also be used to determine your priority of your instant. That's for the elements. Are there questions so far? No questions. All right. Uh, we're not going to do these either. You could go for a um, div division of ownership. So you have the different activities, the different stages on your board, and you could say each person um, takes one or more um, stages as its responsibility, as ownership. It means that this person can decide upon um, on his own, with his own budget, uh, what to improve. Um, but it also means that you have limited budget because you only have a part of it um, based on, on yeah, the number of activities you're doing in that stage. Um, but we, we skip this for now. So you have, the, in this case, we have the shared responsibility where we use a uh, thousand credits to start with. And um, it's a group uh, thing to decide where you want to improve. Improving means you have the zero state. You see at the next level of the cards where you can improve what the cost is and, and, and um, where you think is, is the most beneficial to, to start improving your way of working. Um, I explain this, we're starting from level zero and then this is your improvement cost. Um, All right, flow and queue I'm going to explain is on the board as the best thing to do. And then you start here. Uh, okay. This is on Tabletopia. This is how a board looks like. I'm going to use this one just uh, quickly for demonstration. And then we're going to, um, we're 15 people. Unfortunately, I can't have anyone touch the table. So it will be first come, first serve, but I will keep sharing my screen so everyone can, can see what's happening. And only seven people can really play along. Uh, but don't worry, I'll give you all the information afterwards so you get started yourself in your own context afterwards. So this is the board. And you can have a look at each of the cards. So you double click on the card and then you can read what's on the card. Um, in this case, you see that there's a queue size of four and the flow says all queued features need to move together from one activity to the other, only queue new items when the project is delivered. So what does this mean? A project is delivered when all the tokens together have reached the cash here spot. Only then you can start queuing new items. You can start implementing new features because you have a project which has a start and an end and then only afterwards you can start the next project. That's the idea. The queue size mean the, 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 the queue size of four means I need to take four tokens. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in a bit. So I take four tokens. I roll the die. I got a six. And then that means I can, can do six moves. What I can't do is do one, two, three, four, five, and so on. No, why not? Because we're working in project mode. And in the project, you typically go from stage to stage, one activity after the other in, in a waterfall project. So we need to move one, two, three, four, oops, five, six. So that's how I move my tokens along the board. Because this says all cute features need to move together, really together from one activity to the other. That's it. If you see the next level where you have projects that apply principles of, of so some ideas of Scrum, not a product-based, but still project-based. 
um, then your queue size is lower. Then you have a queue size of two, and then, then you move two tokens together along the board, and you um, can, can start queuing new items once you have reached the cashier spot as well. So, which means uh, less whip. So you move along the board faster. Other things to keep in mind are there are cards that have an arrow on it. Like this one has a red arrow. The red arrow says no action saying you don't do any code quality. So there's no activity doing code quality. So because you're not doing any activity, you can just skip this card. Skipping means you can just jump over it. And there are several of these cards here. Um, let's say I would be here and I would have to move six positions. You don't have to join Tabletopia yet. I will we'll, uh, open a session immediately, so no worries. Um, so if in case of six, I would just jump over these, these red arrows. That would be one, two, oops. Three, four, five, six. So that's the red arrows. You also have blue arrows, which means, or in case of an, an, an operations activity, it could be an orange arrow that says fast forward in this case, because you have been doing code versioning in this case, you do something about code versioning. Um, so you can just uh, skip this. It's automated, so you, you can, can immediately jump over this activity as well. That's the idea. Um, Ash, yes, I can, can follow that you would like to have a day-long session. It's, it's already fun doing a half-day session. Uh, so imagine how a day session would be like. Then another thing is like this one. Test approach, you have manual testing and user acceptance testing in UAT. Um, you see skip and then the number of symbols. This means that this is a manual process. You could bypass this process. So if at some point someone from business is saying, you want to, I want you to deliver this much faster, as fast as you can. I want you to cut any corners you can just to, to make sure we, we're the first on the market with this feature. Well, then you, you decide what you're going to, um, uh, to, to bypass and then you will need to roll the die because you're cutting corners here. That means I roll this die. And this would mean that I would potentially introduce a new bug. So I need to bring in a bug token from the orange stack. So the uh, technical depth one. And then it's up to you what to do. If you keep this as is, you leave it there. This is a potential risk. So once uh, uh, a bug incident would occur, you pay twice because this wasn't fixed. Um, Otherwise, you just make sure you plan it in with the rest of your work. That's about these. And then the last one I want to show is the blue pawn on the board. It's uh, how many features you've been implementing. Once I have finished all my, um, all brought all my tokens to the cache here and make sure that everything should be there. Um, let's say if, if you would have delivered three tokens yet and, and, and one is still on, on, on the deployment phase, yeah, then you're not caching yet for a simple reason that your project isn't delivered yet. It's not done yet. So once everything is at the cache here spot, then you can start moving your pawn. So you bring this to, in this case would be four, four features implemented. This is nice to know what your progress is, but at the same time, you also need to know that this is your complexity indicator. Um, the more, things you change on your system, the more features you implement, your system is getting more complex. So the risk of failures will increase as well. So once you are on level 13, this would mean that once you deliver, you will also need to roll the incident die. 
because your change could your your release could definitely have an in, uh, have issues. That's what the idea is. Uh, and and once you reach above twenty, then you really need to refactor. Then you really need to um, roll the die again to to uh, do a uh, to fix some technical depth, and then you're safe again. So that's everything about the explanation. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this one because this was just a, a demo one to show you. And I'm going to add some extra seats so that seven people can join. Copy URL and this is first come, first serve. The first one who clicks the link and takes a seat can, can play along. The others, don't worry, you can, can still follow the game and see what's happening and even give your opinion if people do, do maybe stupid things. Um, would you come over later into the rooms to watch us play and help us out? Unfortunately, uh, I will be there. I will only be having one room. Uh, it's, it's not a, unless someone is confident enough to uh, um, to take the role of the facilitator himself, then, then I could say, okay, I open a, a separate breakout room. What do you say? Is anyone confident enough to do so? No, I not me. Know. I'm first time here. All right. So then for now, we stick like this. Um, click on the link that you see. Uh, this should be a, a game where you don't need to register. So just as a guest, Type in your name. Uh, that's foreseen that way. Um, the information I'm going to pass on later, if you want to use it yourself, then you will really need to use a, um, a the register on Tabletopia, but you can have a bronze account, which is a free account. Um, and then anyone with a bronze account can just play along. Still don't see anyone joining. Yes. Four more. I think the fear of the unknown. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid about. Nothing can really go wrong in reality. It's, it's, it's just a game, so uh, you're not messing up with your own systems. We're just going to try and have some fun, right? I'm, I'm That's the idea. Right That's the yeah. idea. Learning should be fun. That's my uh, my opinion. That's why I make these games. Oh, I was to, to swim. <laughs> For me, it's not simple enough. That's That's my hesitation. True. It's uh, it takes a lot of information to grasp to start with, but once you're getting started, once you get you're going, um, it should be um, it should be okay. Um, the explanation is is far less than my other game. I made a scrum and simulation a while ago with someone else. 
um, that will take some quite some explanation first to get started, and then you got so many things to remember that, that it's uh, it's even harder to to get started. But once you're in the flow, it's it's no problem. You have mentioned there is a Scrum uh, simulation also. A Scrum band simulation. Um, Scrum yeah, there's the. I've got the, the we started with the, the, the physical version, but this year I made a, a, an online version as well. Oh, so great. Can, um, um, so, so you created these games on Tabletopia? Yes, absolutely. So this is just a picture of how the, the physical scrum and simulation looks like. Um, mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea. And then the uh, the board game looks like um, uh, can it looks similarly. Same? So that's that's how the board looks like in in a virtual world. Please, can you put this link uh, in chat? Yes. So that's Scrum and Simulation and from my own website. Thank you very much. But you will get plenty of information when we finish this, before we finish this uh, this game oh. as well. Uh, how many are we now? We're six. Are there two more people going to join or are you hesitating to, uh, to do so and then we just get started? I'm going to try and make lots of mistakes so I can learn from it. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. One more. Une personne plus. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No one? Really? <laughs> I count to I, five. I, I can't fathom this. I thought people would be fighting. I mean, all the games I do, um, agile games I do, people are jumping. What do you mean, firing? Well, I mean, they, they are fighting to get into the fighting. Oh, <laughs> figure, oh yeah. Figure, yeah, 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 yeah. To, to be the first to join the table. Figure a yeah. speech here because the others have to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it okay. was a lot of information to take in to start with. It's always but, the problem with games like this. But it's when you play, then you understand. Absolutely, and and the yes. first objective is to do to do a round to, to just get used to it. That's uh, that's the aim. So they you get a feel of of uh, what is this queue size about? What is this flow about? And and I'll be there to to be watching and and to to correct when when something goes wrong anyway. So. Uh, um, I'm going to start. So these who joined, these six people. Uh, so we have to keep uh, microphones on. Yes, that could be uh, useful to uh, to keep on speaking terms so we understand each other. There's a text chat, but it won't go so smooth if you only type by, by text chat. So. Mm -hmm. So if I understand correctly, we will play in breakout rooms. We'll play no. on, on planet. The there's only one room. This is this one. This uh, we keep the main room, and the others will will watch what I'm doing. So us talking to each other during the game will be recorded. Yep. Okay. Great. Yep. Um, but I see different screen and. Uh... Well, mine is loading. You you should be seeing something similarly, hopefully. Uh, no, it's just it selection too. of places. Uh, then then uh, there's a button that changed color, maybe uh, the start button or the, the, the continue button or whatever. Uh, I see left. myself as offline. 
Yeah, uh, because you haven't been doing much. Um, if, if you just click on, on a button top left somewhere, should be a green button start or, or, or join ah, or whatever. Online. Yeah. Okay, so I have no, it still is uh, offline. My button said continue if that helps. Do continue. Yeah, that's it. I have to click play. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Ah, voila, I, I see loading screen. Excellent. So there's two people in the room already. Um, yeah, but it is necessary small pop-up uh, for guiding. What does it say? Uh, Anyways, apparently Planetopia decided there was a woman. Uh, I changed that. Welcome to the table to the tutorial. Tutorial? Yes, I see tutorial. Hmm, that's strange. You shouldn't be. Uh... And I can click next. Okay. Hmm. Try it out before you play. Camera controls. And everybody went offline. Is it? You should be seeing. seeing uh, maybe you I should quickly share your. Should quickly share your screen so that I can see what's going on. Um, Come on, uh, how to do it? Share your screen. That's um, in, in in Zoom. Ah, Zoom screen. Yeah. Okay, I will try. So that I can see what what what's on your screen. Mm -hmm. I'll stop sharing for now. L'animatura disactivate. Uh, you disactivated sharing of screen. Ah, oh, hang on. Uh, I'm going to make sure that everyone can share multiple participants. I have French interface, so yes, <laughs> all instructions <laughs> from Zoom in French. Um, who can share only host is, yeah. that's, uh, and that's, that's on, on. Okay, I probably will not spend time, but uh, I can give description and mm -hmm. you know screens, yes? Uh, do you still have the screen where you get the different blocks where you could uh, take a seat? So somebody entered the game. Mm -hmm. I will click next in this uh, tutorial. You can enable full screen mode to enjoy. Yes. Then to find out how to interact with any object on the table, mouse over, you can press yeah. question mark. It won't button. help you anything. Uh, you're really in, in some sort of a tutorial. I'm going to yes. going to go back to the lobby Here so that I can have an idea. Overview. If you could, could get back to the lobby. Uh, uh, it will be finished in the three points, just. This is your hand and description of cursor. Mm -hmm. If you need to pause the restart or, or leave the game, and you will find main menu. And the last one, this is the chat bar on the right. At the chat, yeah. press enter. I really don't know where you got, did you click on the more information or what, how, do you, how do you get this? I'm, I'm sharing no, my screen. I'm sharing my screen again. So. For me because I'm first time probably. Do you need that's... opponents? Copy the link above and send that's, it to that's, you. Uh... I can help. That's also what I got displayed first. And you click on continue. Yeah, and continue, continue, continue. And uh, finally, no, just, eight from eight. Normally, just one continue. Uh, let's see what happens. And you should should have a progress bar that's orange. To start yeah, loading and the map. it is only eight eight items there. Yeah. Then load in again. So I see many hands already. 
If you see many hands, that's good, and you should be on the table. Yes, Maru, Yo, Ash, Ron. Okay, that's good, and you're in. Mine is loading. El Cabri, Kun. Yes. yes. All right, we're in. Uh, just for your convenience to make your view the way you want it, so, and, and how the controls of the game are, you have the, the question mark, which shows you some informa interesting information. Uh, selecting an object, um, you do it with the left mouse button. And then if you keep the mouse button down and you drag, then you start moving it. You, you can move cards, you can move tokens and whatever. Um, that's for moving objects. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get out of here. So I go to the die and I just click it and I move it. That's how you can move objects. Uh, sorry, small question. Yep. Uh, which is sequence or how we can select because there are two cubics and uh, uh, how we have to click on both or it, they will be activated? Uh, in uh, uh, the, the, the dice you mean? Yeah. I will, I will explain when once we start how to do this. Uh, okay. Because we're going to do one round to, uh, to get to know the game. Uh, to get a better view, what I typically do is I tilt my screen. So that's with the right button and the scroll wheel. Or, or, um, or the, 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 the scroll wheel, it's, it's moving down. The scroll wheel is to, to yeah. zoom in. The scroll wheel makes you zoom in. Uh, moving your mouse up and down with your right button makes it tilt. Mm -hmm. Going left and right makes it turn. Uh, okay. So in my opinion, I get a, always a better view if I get a better a sort of a top view. Uh, mm -hmm. And I zoom in what I can. Um, rolling a die is clicking it and typing the letter R from radio. So that's how you roll ah. a die. So click and type R. R. Yeah, just try that. Just to make sure that you're convenient with it. Mm -hmm. uh, can I try? Sure. Sorry, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Some... All that up to use the, the dice. Okay. And then we, we can uh, also flip cards, but we're not going to do this now. I'll tell you why I don't want you to flip cards, but that, because I don't want you to reveal the information about the incidents. The back of the card contains the incidents. The letter F makes you flip cards, but we're not going to do this now. So once we're in in in, uh, in incident mode, then we start doing this. But uh, just for now, we keep the front of the cards. Get yourself used to these cards. Click on them. Double click on them to read what's on it. That you understand what's what the things mean. And if you have any doubt, hesitation, uncertainty, just let me know what this is about. Uh, I clicked the, and nothing happened. Double click it. So you double click on a card. Ah, uh, yeah. It, uh, shows in in big so you can can read the text uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. sorry kun um yes um, how do you flip the board to change the perspective like that i'm trying to you right click your mouse yeah and then you move up and down to tilt it okay if you want to zoom in it's a scroll wheel or the the, the on your touchpad your two fingers Move up and down. And if you want to move, then you use your cur the cursor keys of your board, of your, your keyboard. So just um, move if you have uh, been zooming in too much. What is on the left side? Uh, if you see, I show a ah, turn based mode. On the left, a red hand. I don't see what you mean. Uh, you see red hand. Mm, no, I don't see the red hand. Okay, in center. Yes. Yeah. I move to the left. Yeah. This one. On, Turn on. based modes. And somebody went offline. Let's see. Uh, this one, yeah. Uh, don't worry about that because I just uh, tell you who will go next. That's the that's the oh, easiest okay. thing. Mm -hmm. 
normally in, in in real real games where you have a real turns and then the th thing can keep track of, of who's uh, who's doing what uh, the, the the meeples you see on the top we don't use them today these are if you want to assign um ownership to the for certain uh, stages of the loop to to people that's uh, because everyone has a color so then then you could put a, a, like uh, in my case the blue one for instance i could put it on on so we have to select ownership sorry no we're not going to do this uh, it will be too complex mm -hmm. so we we stick to um if you see my screen, the the, uh, the initial balance is is, is a thousand credits. That's a common uh, budget that we're all going to work with. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to share this. Hang on. Yes. All right. Hang on. My wife is hoovering. I'm going to see that I can close the door. Just. A uh, how we can decide how many features to take? Uh, the board will tell. Uh, how? It will stop? The, uh, the board will tell in the sense that uh, the first card you see uh, here, the plan mm -hmm. approach, will determine a lot. So uh, the plan approach in this case says, uh, you queue four items, few, uh, you queue four uh, blue tokens to, to uh, implement your features. And that's, uh, that will determine the entire flow of the game to start with. So um, ah. if you see the next card, for instance, this is something you will often see repeat, determined by plan approach. So yeah. the same principle is applied as described here. We, I didn't want to repeat it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Definitely not if... if uh, um this can change and the the others can can uh stay the same for instance so just want to refer to that status okay um my proposal for now is that we're just going to start and um on my screen i am the bottom left and the first on the top so we go uh, by what i've seen the sequence that i see Imi, you're first, Maru, then uh, Joe, Ash, Ron, Chichi, and then uh, El Carbili. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, the sequence we're going. Mm -hmm. So, Imi, first thing you do is roll the normal die. Just uh, one thing, guys. I think there must have been a problem. So just ignore El Carbili because that's my other alter ego. I don't know what, how that happened. I mm -hmm. got into the game and now there's two of me in there. Okay. I just ignore that one. All right. So which one are you going to use? Maru. The yellow or the black? The yellow. All right. Good. Um, no, it shows me the black one. Sorry. I'm using the black oh, yeah. hand. So. Okay. Good. So then first, give me you can start. So you take the normal die and you roll it by mm -hmm. typing the letter R. What? Three. All right. So then you move three tokens to the next position. One, two, three. Yes. By Zen. the way, did, did everyone have the opportunity to watch the cards to see what's on it? What these activities yes. are? Good. Nope. Because this will be uh, the, after this round, we're going to yes, try. But them. we cannot move. Uh, we have only three uh values and uh, we cannot move uh, four no because you you you, you rolled three so the next one to roll mm -hmm. can can uh can move more tokens so Sorry, I, didn't, I didn't get i have yeah. to so you you rolled three so you your turn was only uh, moving three tokens so the next ah, person so somebody else yeah. yes the next person joe mm -hmm. you can roll the die Four. The first thing you do is bring in the 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 the, the one on, on the queue here spot. That's one, That's and then you can move three more. All right. 
Next, Ash. Okay, I will try now to move, yep. to roll the dice. Yep. I've got this screen that says to rotate camera left, right. It's please wait, scene initialization. Oi. Okay, I can see the board now. Okay, then you take the, the normal die. Yeah. And then you type R. You hover over die. Yep. Uh, left, uh, yes. click left button. Ah, okay. One, so you can bring that one token on, on the plan approach to the uh, next stage. The last one you bring in. That's this one. Yeah, all together. But it is covered by blue hand. Uh -huh. oh. No, you're moving cards now. That's not the uh, not the aim. We're going to use tokens, not cards. Is there undo function? No. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm Hang on, if I put it back, will it? Can't even move it. But it covers. Yeah, so we need to move the tokens away first so that we can mm -hmm. put the card back on the point's place. That's quite realistic, that. Isn't <laughs> it? it is. Layers. Sometimes yeah. quite, quite annoyingly <laughs> realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Something it reminds me of old Java times. <laughs> <laughs> Can you move multiple tokens at once? No, it's Can one by one. Can you select multiple? Okay. No. Pressing control. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to try and move one token. Yeah. So it's from the pre the planning card before where the three tokens are. Can you see my green hand? Yeah. yeah. Can you see yeah. the little so parcel? You, you take that yeah. one. <laughs> I'm trying to move that token or select that token. Okay. Once it gets darker, yeah. then you have it. And then, Drag uh, and drop. Yes, that's it. Yes. You can drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm wondering well, maybe... if, it's, if it's your visibility on your screen. I find I, if I tilted and zoomed in, then I could pick up stuff easier. I don't know if that's helpful. Mm -hmm. Ron, your turn. Okay. Let's roll the dice. I feel like I'm. Yeah, this is, I've never done an online board game. So this is, I'm, it's a challenge. But I'm quite enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Kun, uh, you're working yes. at Tabletopia? No? No, I'm not working at Tabletopia. I just use Tabletopia. Ah, okay. Tabletopia is a platform that provides uh, the possibility to make your own games or to play games. There's a whole bunch of games available there. Uh, I but have that's... one idea, but uh, I have to discuss it first uh, with our board. Do I, do I skip all of these? Yes, you skip all these, so you can immediately go to the build breakers. And for some reason, no, the, the, the hang on, this card is moved. It should be uh, build approach. So you can move one more to this spot. Uh, I don't know uh, when is my turn. Um, we still have Chichi and, and uh, uh, Maru to go. So um, it shows it's... somewhere uh, who is next. I know. <laughs> I'll just keep an eye on it because it, on my screen I see the order you started. Then it was uh, Joe. Then we get Ash. Now Ron just moved. Next one is Chichi to roll.
So you have four. The first thing you do, Chichi, is bringing these top ones back to the, uh, the build approach. The cards? No, not the cards, the tokens. The, so the, the, tokens. the, the blue tokens, you bring them to uh, the build approach. Or you can... can uh... Right here, right? Yes, that's it. Okay. Oops. Token not okay. Oops. A bit more precise. <laughs> right. Okay. There we if go. If you if you you hover over it and it gets darker, it gets gets uh, shaded, and then you got the uh, the right object. Okay. Uh, Did now I put you them can on the right two, place? Two more moves you can do now because you had a four. Okay, so I move two more. Yep. So one, two, right? Nope. Uh, <laughs> you can't do it that way. Just you do go one, and then the other one bring it uh, to oh, the, okay. the same spot. Okay, great. Because you, you okay. keep you, you need to keep moving in uh, at a second pace. That's that's the idea okay. of a project in, in waterfall. You really go stage per stage, activity per activity. Okay, there we go. I think I've moved. All right, good. Maru, your turn. All right, Maru. cool. So now, yeah, yeah, guys, just give me a second to breathe. Uh, I, I, can you have to? Give, you're gonna have to give me two minutes here because I still do not know how to turn the camera, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, you said right click and then. Um, Dragon. Uh... Uh, you, if you want to. Turn your board, it's it's moving left and right. If you want to uh, tilt it, it's it's uh, up and down. Tilt it and then up and down. What is up and down? Up and down what? You move Dragon. your mouse up or down, forward or backward. But it's moving just forward and backward. It's not tilting. Hmm. Maybe, you can, do it, uh, maybe you can do it on, on the board. Um, if you right sharing. click, I don't know what you're what you're seeing now, but if you right click, I what I do now, are. I move move down, then I down, then I go this way up or forward, and I go this way. If I go left, so you right turns... click. The, the the secret was right clicking and holding, not just yes, right clicking. Holding right clicking absolutely. was showing me a wheel. All right, yep. now I got that one. And how do I throw a dice? Uh, you. Move over the, the die and then you type letter R. Letter R. Yes, Done. that's it. And now what's my next step? Four. So you have um, first you bring in these ones. The Wait, one on build approach. The, camera. the one on build, the second build. Okay. That, so you can you can move your your cursor keys, you can, can move left and right as well. If you're yeah, you only yeah. see a part so of the screen, it works with the mouse. Just want to understand yeah. what I should do with the with the tokens. First, the work. other ones, the other ones bring it to the build breakers from the build approach. Move these two to the build breakers. All right, all right. And then what, you can what, move. What other ones? I don't know what you're talking about because uh, just tell me which card. There are two build cards. One is on the left. There's, one is on the right. Yeah, the build approach. These are the mm -hmm. the ones that should be moved to the build breakers. On the card of build breakers, there's, there's already two tokens. You see? Okay. I take two from build approach and I move them to build breakers. Yes. Okay. And then you can do two more moves. Did you have a four uh, or a five? Because I see a value five on the die now. No, somebody else played with, to with okay. the dice afterwards. All right. Done. That's it. Oof, wait. We did one round. <laughs> We didn't have anything implemented yet. So what we once you have something implemented, this would be the moment if everyone did a turn that you have to try rolling, you have to roll the instant die, but not yet now. So for now we uh -huh. just finish this this make sure that we get the uh, to the cashier spot and get our features implemented so we can get some money. A uh, small question? Yes. Uh, there are uh, many cards on perimeter, yes. like mm -hmm. stock. Uh, what do we have to do with it? Which cards do you mean? Oh, uh, like additional cards. Build. Yes, these are the the. You see the. I'm going to select one card like build. Yeah, approach. yeah something like the this. Build, this one is, for instance, manual built as level zero of build approach. That means 
there's nothing automated. There's just someone that has to build a package and deploy it to the uh, to the uh, the target uh, system. If you have this one, this is a uh, build approach level one. So you can go um, improving yourself. That's the aim of the game. Once you get revenue, improve yourself, improve your way of working, make your way of working more robust. So you can you can uh, implement faster and and build better quality. And that's the idea. Yes, idea so, uh, is okay, but a card, uh, what a gamer have to do with a card? Well, once you, you uh, once we have finished this, we will start seeing what we can improve. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too quick. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. You can uh, continue, Amy. So you can uh, roll the die and we uh, okay. make sure we can, can deliver this feature. Oh, again, one, just one. Yeah. So I probably will move yep. one. What is delaying? Exactly. Done. <laughs> Next. Yeah, Joe. I have a slight issue in that the dice, the die has disappeared off my board. No, no. Seriously. It is there. It is there. Just. Yeah, oh, yeah. I see it now. Thank I you. just moved it. Yeah, I saw you move it. Sure. Because there is one dot only. Yeah, difficult. No, that's not wanting to. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh. One. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> so we can. Uh, yes, we don't need to discuss everybody the sites, or we can discuss. It's just the, the, there's only one option that's bringing in that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's more logical. All right. Come on, guys. We need sixes. Ash. He's going to get six. Ash is going to get six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I like this board uh, game we'll do together it. towards an objective rather than <laughs> <laughs> competition. Four. Four. Uh -huh. That's pretty good. Yay. Can all on one, one you can move them all to the part. test responsibility. Hmm? Want me to give you a hand? Help you moving? And let's all, let's all help. Your hand. I'm helping too. Uh, okay. yes. So each test card, so each at different stage, there's, there's, there's no. the sub stage as well for each card. Mm -hmm. That's, I hadn't picked that up before. And the last one, I can move it. Yep. Okay. He likes Excellent. to move. Ron, you're next. Ron? Oh, Ron. Ron? He's still there. He's moving. Yeah. The dice is probably almost the hardest bit, right? <laughs> I'm picking up the, the little things. There are tougher things that's... Uh... You can skip there's that one because there's no action. So you can immediately jump over this this uh, this card. So you're not doing any any security testing. That's what it says. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it will be clear in operations. <laughs> yes. No security testing. Goodness me. <laughs> no. Last years it is in fashion to put it on customer side and tell. It is just in the field. <laughs> okay, yeah, Chichi. that's not good. No. <laughs> oh, it exists, it exists. I was a bit speechless there. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, but. All right, first move the one from test responsibility to release approval, approval and then you can uh, move three more. Wait. Mm -hmm. All right, Maru, you're next. There we go. This went quick. Wow. Go, Chi Chi. Go, Chi. 
think it's an interesting game, game though. Thank you. No? Okay. Yeah. You haven't seen a lot yet because there's so much more in it. So uh, you'd be surprised oh once you. God. Really? It's one. One. That's really? okay. You're just evening up. <laughs> yeah, I, I really suck at this day. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to join because otherwise we're going to uh, a bit slow. So I'm going to roll more. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> Good thing. Congratulations. Now it's getting familiar a little bit. All right. One, two, three. He's got the knack for four, rolling high numbers. Five. It's definitely a knack, right? <laughs> <laughs> A small caveat here is that because there is no action uh, required by cards, we yep. have no interaction really. What do you mean with no interaction? Except this red arrow. Mm -hmm. We don't have any other interaction action caused by card. No, true. But what, unless something goes wrong, of course. If, if it goes wrong, then you know why. why uh... What the consequence of no, do, not doing any security testing will be. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the aim of, of improving your way of working afterwards. All right. Okay. Uh, Amy, you're, you're, you're on again. Yeah. You can uh, roll the die and we uh, make sure okay. we can finish this round. I always a small amount. Okay, I will continue to move what is... Uh, in the train. Okay. Nice. Okay. Me? Joe, yeah. Four. Let's do it. All right. One, two, three, four. Oop. No, not that. Don't kill the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes. Ash, you're next. He's sharing us offline. Ash? Um, Ash? Ash? Uh, yeah, it, it has, he's no uh, longer in the call not... either, I think. He left the call, apparently. Getting this? No, he's, he's, no, he's still in. Thing. Bad connection, reconnecting. Ah, ah, okay. To lobby. Yes. Yes. Can someone else take a turn? Yeah. Five, and we can cash. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. So caching means. Yes, we deliver the project. Caching means we go to the account balance sheet and we can say uh, for features implemented, which gives us a credit of 400, 100 credits per implemented feature, that is. So you have currently an account balance of 1,400 and you can start spending them, start improving your way of working. That's the idea. So up to you to decide. What are the things you want to spend your money on? In the meantime, I will bring in the uh, the tokens back to the queue here spot. Okay, so like e the cost of, for example, putting security in will be on the card number one. Is that exactly? So you really have to go level by level. You can't immediately go from level zero to level three. That's not uh, what you can do because you only see level one card, but there are some more cards after it. So. Uh, you re increase okay. step by step. So, so we can okay. So we can move one of cards to yeah, you decide you decide together what you want to improve, and then you bring in this card simply by dragging it and dropping it ah, on the other like one. This. That's how you do it. Uh-huh. So I'm looking at the security testing, funnily enough. It obviously struck a chord with me. It's 100. Are we happy to put that in with our budget? Yes, we can uh, improve this because it will uh, strike back. <laughs> the, the least thing you can do is penetration testing before production to, to, to have yeah. a safer feeling, of yeah, course. At least. 
You want to spin it? Can we afford that? I am agree. Somebody else? I agree as we, as long as we can afford it. We can. I agree. What? We can. I, I, wow. I, I think we got four hundred dollars to 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 play with. Thousand right four hundred even. So you, you yeah. with this one it costs yeah. one hundred, yeah. I guess. Yeah, one hundred. Yes. Yeah. All right. So yeah. if you see what I'm sharing, the account balance, you see test security level one, spend one hundred, you still have thousand three hundred to spend. So we got lots of cash. We're cash rich right now, guys. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> So what's this coding thing? We're skipping through a lot of coding as well. Yeah, the first thing is code quality. So you're not doing any code quality checks, not any any coding guidelines. That's yeah, I, level I, one. Yeah, I think we should fix we all three of those. <laughs> fix I all think three. Should, yeah. I agree. Fix all three. At least get coding guidelines and quality checks and stuff in, right? Coding guidelines right. is 100. At least peer review or what they have. The uh, level two is, is code reviews, manual code reviews. That's a, yeah. another 150. So first you need to spend the 100 for the code uh, guidelines before you can start implementing manual reviews. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think we should all three that 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 that's red over there. We should fix that whole. The uh, whole line. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at them. Coding okay, guidelines. So your code coding guidelines. To move it. Just versioning, yeah. We need versioning as well, right? Yeah. The Colin Just versioning means field. you're you're doing you're having a version, but you're not doing any branching and definitely not trunk based development. Yeah, trunk based, but without the, the feature branching. So just having something in version control that is. I'm Colin just thinking how do I tilt the to level one. To... Yeah, I think we should just be at level one on the stuff that basically we've been skipping. Okay. So this one as well, just version. Yep, that one. Yeah. I'd like okay. to spend all of the money and get yeah. us high on everything. Right. Well, guys, not I, all, not all of the money. I'd like guys, to spend the money that we've already guys, that we just made. Guys, 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 Never. Guys, Someone wants to ask something, guys. Yes. Guys, I just guys, I just made yep. a test and said guys thirteen times, because I've been waiting for a round to speak for I don't know how long, and it feels really like retros. And I think we really need a process to make uh, uh, proposals or something like that, not just, you know, equal chambering each other and just the three loudest people get to decide what the team does. Okay. Who is, um, That's a good idea. So what, some kind of voting or something? We, everybody puts just forward a, what they want to do? Just passing a stick to each other, you know, when each has an opportunity to voice out what he thinks we should do, then it would be more structured. Uh, how to do it? Just one says, who's next? Or name someone. And then we get uh, time box each other in 30 seconds or 20 seconds, and then we're done in two minutes. Ah, this is something from uh, liberating structures? No, it's no? just agile time boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Oh. What do you think, Maru? Oh, I had no opinion because I spent my time trying to improve the process. So uh, <laughs> we'll do whatever. You, <laughs> we'll do whatever you guys want. I really have no opinion. Uh, but we have to. Uh, ah, it is my turn, I think, now, and we can start second round, yeah, because we uh, already took decisions. Yes. Yeah. Who did the last one? Uh, hang on. It was um, who did the last move? Uh, we did it for I Ash. Think it's, I think it was, was uh, Ash. Yeah, I think it's my turn. Yeah. So we're still on the four at once waterfall. True. It didn't improve anything in the way of, of, of uh, planning. Mm -hmm. Do we want to spend some money on planning as well? Uh, do we have some we money? <laughs> you still have plenty of money. You still have. 
950 left. So you have with test security on level one. Is it okay with everyone to spend some money on planning? I'm okay. So then you We're need to, to it saves revert. money later. You need to revert your moves as well. Revert it. <laughs> we want to spend it before I moved. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> What do you want to improve on planning then? What do we want so, to do this the next time around? Well, I'm, how much time do we have? One thing. Well, I it, it's, in, 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 on my clock, it's, it's a quarter past nine. Wow. Um, we have 15 minutes normally left, but it just depends how much time you want to continue. But if, officially, it's an hour and a half that I had foreseen to, uh, to yeah. get to know the game. Okay, let's just continue. Let's see how we do. Can I have, sorry, one more question, if that's okay. How much is it to go up to level one on all of the stats? Do you know? How much of money you mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't know by heart. I really <laughs> okay. don't know by heart. One, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Not all 100. That would no. be simple. Oh, there's <laughs> cheaper ones and there's more expensive ones. Uh, the yeah. cheapest one is probably the monitoring because you don't do any monitoring as well. That's 50. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. I think we can go to one on all of them if, if everybody agrees. I don't know if we'll make it to all of them. I don't let's, think so either. Yeah. Let's go I think it. so because some of them was only 10. We've only got or $50 or $40. What is it? They're not all 100, and someone's already at one. I have an idea. Can the person sharing the screen lift some of these cards so we can see? Which ones? Some of the, I don't know what he meant. He meant some of them were 40 or 10 or something. Yeah, some of them, they're not all $100. Um, some support we don't have. Uh, release is approval is only 20. Yeah, ah. see, they, they, yeah, some of them are not all $100. I think we can go all the way. With Test responsibility is, is, is less as well. It's only 40. Uh, one yeah. question. Uh, how in this game is implemented feedback from client? Mm -hmm. Not really. No. So, uh, we don't have feedback from operations, but how we discover that there is a bug, for example, which escaped testing? Ah, well. Um, if you just continue one round and, and then, then you'll uh, experience what can go wrong. Ah, it is a game which will give a situation. Yes, yes, that's exactly. Because you have been implementing some features now. So once everyone has done the next round, at the end of the round, you need to bring in the answer to the die and then see what can go wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, who is now? I'm thinking go, are, are, are might we, be quicker are, if we are, if we add the we, <laughs> try to speak at the same time. Are we spending the money? Oh, are we just going to continue for the sake of the game to see what, what can go wrong, what the impact is of what was the current situation is? Either way, I I'm fine. Let's just go for it. Right. So you've moved, Ron. So who's next? Chichi. All right. Maru, you're lost. Oh, man. <laughs> OK, so 
what happens now is because you've been already implementing some features, something can go wrong now. What you need to do, someone has to roll these dice, both of them. Because this one will determine if the incident occurs and what your severity is, what your priority of the incident is. So first uh, roll the, the, the incident die, the, uh, the one with the special symbols. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now the other one. It is a two. The two means that the incident definitely occurs. This is a low priority incident, but a security breach. So what you need to do now is we're going to flip all the cards. Flipping a card is by typing the letter F. You select the card and you type the F so that the card will flip. And then all the cards that don't have the uh, the hacker symbol can be turned back because these won't count. Uh -huh. Okay, so what can we flip back is the um, this one. Why? Why? Because if I hang on, flip it back. If you see the symbols, the uh, the hacker symbol is 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 the is only outlined. It's not filled in, so it, it doesn't have an impact on on the the, the capacity uh, on the operate side is is not impacted by this kind of instance. So we can flip it back. We don't take it into account. Same for this one. Availability and this one as well. Uh, I found the incident. Okay, so everything the the, the, the built approach can be flipped as well. Um, you can have a look at the cards. What I'm going to do now is going to. Normally, you should calculate, sum up all the, the instant costs. You see there's an instant cost for each activity. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I have a, a simple aid for you. So I have been, been putting Andrew. in everything. Hang on. Uh, you will write. Um, um, so code quality one. Code versioning is there. Code security is in. We had test security. And what else did we have? That's it. So with these performance levels, and we have a security breach, mm -hmm. low priority costs you 49 credits. Forty-nine. Yes. That's what I see here. Forty nine. Oh yeah. So that's um, why 49, if, if you have a high priority, you get a full cost. So you have to sum up all the costs that you see on the cards. If you have a medium priority, which is the four, um, then you have 50% of the cost and a low priority is 10%. So that's how the instant cost is calculated. It's a security breach. So what I'm going to do now is I bring in this fellow and put it here um, because you don't plan um, an instant and if, if fixing an instant should be done as quickly as possible. So you, you just keep the planning stage. You can immediately go to the next stages. Uh, just have a look at all the cards to see why, uh, what is causing you the biggest cost um, for this incident. 100, yes. where is it, it was a, green hand so it, i, I yeah. will put my hand here it is Test security mm -hmm. yeah no idea so, which security holes are wide open you uh i have a question did, did, didn't you do the uh hang on didn't you do the uh the, the test security you bring it in you brought in i think yeah I yes i know did. what it is i know what it is yeah. i know what it is hang yeah on. i thought we did because yeah it's it's a, the there's two cards on on each other so I'm going to see because 
um, should be able to move one somehow. Yes, that's it. Um, they they were stacked onto each other, and, and then you you flip the entire stack if you flip it. So going to put this one back. Ah, that's why I had uh, digit two above yeah, of my exactly. Hand. Yeah, oh. yeah. The digit two oh, means that you have a stack of cards. Mm -hmm. So it's this one. You did implement um, penetration testing, so it's only sixty. Why is it still 60? Because the security issues are only detected in a later stage, so it's expensive to fix. Mm -hmm. um, the same thing here. You did have security. That's two. So let's move these. The, then we can bring this card back to the stack. And then you see it's also 60 because you do security. Uh, you have secure coding guidelines. But your secure coding guidelines are not enforced and can be ignored, which results can result in, in, in uh, high security risks. So besides, they only focus on your own code, not on third party libraries. Yeah, first round, we skip, skipped uh, exactly this. Yes, true. So in the first round we, where you had level zero, you skipped all these, so you know what, what, uh, what could have happened if, uh, if you had an incident then. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Could they get the four hundred dollars. <laughs> yep, it could be uh, very expensive. Right. So now um, we know what the cost is. It's forty nine. Um, forty nine. Yes, forty nine. So we have nine hundred budget left, and then we. I brought in the uh, the security one. The, the a thing to fix. Then we can flip the cards back. Uh, another one, yes, this one, uh, that's the highest cost that you have on the board for this, this instant, I think. It's uh, the monitoring approach uh, because you don't have any monitoring in place. This will cost you 100. We have to flip all cards? Yes, the, the, uh, the cards that are still reversed can be flipped back to the, uh, to the front. So only one, once an instant occurred, then there'll be uh, have these can you mean time check uh sorry you, you meant the security monitoring will cost us 100 or would cost us 100 if um, you use it? no the instant cost was 100 if you want to implement monitoring the least form of monitoring costs you 50 that's information radiators uh is it possible to flip cards where are all uh, our yeah features? it is yeah oops no, it shows something. Ah, okay. I'm going to do a little time check. It's uh, 27 on my clock. Um, mm -hmm. For those who want to continue, maybe we can, can continue afterwards. Uh, but I just want to give some extra information about um, the main learnings or the things you experience now in, in as learnings. What do you experience as, as the... Uh, the things that uh, that want that, that this game want to stress for you. For me, it was first time to play this, but I like it very much. Okay. It uh, kind of exam simulator also. <laughs> <laughs> and it is good for team building, I think. Mm -hmm. I did some, some team trainings with it uh, the last um, month of September, did a few trainings with it and the, uh, the, the feedback was very positive. So that's, that's uh, it was really nice bit, to do this. Yeah, a bit difficult on small screen, but uh, mm -hmm. I think it make it surfaces a lot of communication and uh, decision making limitations. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta say that I played with 5% of my capacities because there's almost no possibility to intervene. And so mm -hmm. uh, in some teams, it is the case. And as a coach, I see that. And even if you talk to people, it's not changing. So this can make it really visible. Yeah. For simplicity, for now, I also decided not to go to, to separate responsibilities. Like you see the cards on, on the sides um, with the different stage names, like the, you see on, on, on the sides here. Mm -hmm. um, if you have time enough, if you have plenty of time, you could go for a model where you uh, split responsibilities, but also split budgets. 
which would mm. mean you just count the number of cards and and uh, you have a budget of of uh, thousand credits and there's 20 cards on the board mm -hmm. so that would mean per card you have 50 i guess 50 credits that you can spend the 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 bummer one is the the the, the one who only got monitoring as his responsibility it only has a budget of 50 to start with so that's not much the, the, the split responsibility means also you can decide yourself what what you want to improve and when you want to improve it how much money you want to spend on it but you, this also means that you get less revenue only the part of it uh when you get uh when you implement features you have to divide along all the, the players on, on the game so that's uh mm -hmm. a drawback of course Thank you. Now, the, the main learnings for me from this game is when, when you start playing this is um, if you want, then that's a common misunderstanding. It helps for a lot of people is about delivering faster. If you want to start improving this side first, mm -hmm. but you avoid or you, you, you ignore the, this one, the, the, everything related to, to your quality, and also your monitoring and so on, and this will go come come back like a like a boomerang. So it, mm -hmm. it gets really hard back in your face because you're you're doing the wrong things first. So um, improve your quality side first, then you will see that that the impact of your instance will be a lot lower. That's that's the idea. Um, Something I didn't introduce, but as, as a in, in a training context is also interesting to see, like you see this card where you can can skip uh, the test approach. You, you skip the manual testing. Then I then I could as as a the role of the product owner say, I just want uh, you to deliver this one as fast as possible. This batch of features because I want to be the first on the market, and you will get fifty percent more <laughs> revenue. So do whatever you want. Make sure you deliver it as fast as possible, and then um some people will tend to do this but then as a, as a facilitator i have to say well yeah the, the consequence is that you will in, introduce yeah. um yeah technical depth of course so that's uh mm -hmm. that's a downside last week the training i had was was these were clever guys i said do whatever you want i want you to to, to deliver as fast as possible and what did they do they um they just improved some uh, some cards like on, on this side there were some cards they could improve uh, things that weren't manually so they these were in, improved to automated stuff and, and they were done and what happened uh they got their revenue they didn't introduce any feet and any uh technical debt because they really improved their their way of working first before they could deliver so that's a mm -hmm. very good reflex they had so yeah. they did all tests possible or not um first they moved on this one and then i think on uh, coding on the level. yeah on a coding level and i think on the testing level there was something that was still uh introducing uh technical depth i think but generally there was was quite well yeah. um i think this is a bit simplistic because what you want to try and achieve is um do a shift left of testing so you can mm -hmm. test alongside your development and you want to do the testing even before the build work starts so you can have yep. proper driven development but this is i suppose as good as it gets well if you see what the the, the build breakers card is level zero means you only break your build on, on on compilation errors but you can also get one level further where you have failing unit tests so that's already a shift left you're doing of course and then you can also have in your test approach uh, automated functional testing, unit testing and integration testing. So that's, um, if, if you, you increase these, these is part of your development cycle, but I know that I had to stick a bit to the, uh, to the flow of, of the, uh, the DevOps loop, of course, but it's, it's uh, definitely in there that, that the development cycle, the testing, the shift left is, is in it. Okay. Nice. So what are the, the other things uh, besides the uh, security issues on the yellow dice? 
Um, yeah. So um, you have the the security one, then you can have bugs. You have performance issues. These are the ones. But the performance issue mainly impacted um, if you don't have proper uh, capacity. I think. I'm going to flip this one to see. What it uh, is. Here is a no. Yeah incident uh, investigation, like root cause or something. What do you mean? Uh, game scenario doesn't... Oh, no, 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 indeed, uh, we don't. Um, you, you have two things. You have the, the, the financial loss of an incident, which is your, your cost you have, and then you have the fact that you have to fix it mm -hmm. in your current process. Uh-huh. So in, indeed, we don't do. Yeah, the only thing as 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 a analysis you can do is, like I said, uh, have a look at the back of the of the of the cards and and what makes makes that that you have this cost. Like for instance, on this card, you have a very high cost. Um, you may not be able to process actual load because you have no idea what to expect. So based on on capacity management, if you don't do any capacity management, yeah, then then. Um, things can go wrong with yeah. the first batch of users trying to use your application, of course. But that's mm -hmm. sort of a instant uh, analysis it you is, could do. It is like a tax website, uh, which is a falling in last day of declaration. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Server is dead. <laughs> So how long does this normally take? Say you have a team of like eight people. Um, to get quite some things done, um, I think two and a half hours, you get you get quite some in, insights. Um, once you get used to the moving of the things, then in two and a half hours, you, you can, can do definitely something. And the last week, the training that I did was four hours, including cool. some theory parts. So there was uh, some theory about DevOps in the beginning and then afterwards also making the link between the game and the uh, the dora metrics and the dora uh, performance levels hmm. nice it's it's, it's there it, it is not strictly linked to it but if you have the 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 24 devs capabilities um of the the dora the um, accelerate book then these somehow come uh, can be found back in the game well, in such case, I could advise this only Friday evening because uh, at least Saturday, everybody will sleep. <laughs> uh, it is uh, Sunday morning, developers are at work with red eyes. <laughs> okay. I hope they're not working on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I All right. Know. Is there, is there going to be an iteration on this game where you sort of inject real world situations like all of a sudden you're time boxed you have to get something done by a particular time frame and if you don't like if it's a fixed date and you know you've got management screaming at you to deliver something <laughs> just you know where you're going to meet that that, that deadline well, the, the example i just gave about but in, when you introduce technical debt and i say you can do whatever you want i want to to have this feature implemented as fast as possible cut any corners, do it, whatever it takes to, to de deliver faster, you get extra revenue. That's such an example that I do within a training. I, I got well. that. I know I got that, but I also did not interpret it that way. Cause like, mm -hmm. yeah, cutting corners is one thing, but it's like you get started and then all of a sudden, then there's a fixed date that shows up in the middle of nowhere or your budget's cut or something like that. It, yeah. It's just like considering, a, you know, a further evolution of this game late later in the game or something. It could like be that. something I could think about to, to introduce it later. Um, yeah. At some point, things pop up um, and, and, and get brought in as well. But like like this one is, is only recently added. I think a few months ago, I added this one because initially there wasn't anything about aging of your system and, and, and the need for refactoring and so on. So And, and the, the change fail rate you can have, that's only recently added. Yeah, so it would be migration projects. But something could be something to keep uh, to keep in mind. Thank you for your tip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, don't don't introduce uh, technical bankruptcy up front. Yeah, it's a much later <laughs> introduction. Something I didn't touch upon either was um, these ones. So that's something you can do when you have a lot of time, like let's say in, in a, a full day training or something. Um, when you implement an improvement, now it's just a matter of. of 
spending cash, but it could also be they need to implement a, a tool or need to change the process or whatever, then you really need to implement it like these tokens, the um, inspired by the PDCA cycle. Um, are your improvement tokens, then then you, you spend part of your time making sure these are implemented, and that means you don't you won't be able to spend all your time on, on implementing features, of course. So that, that's only when you really have a lot of time. So you can you can can do this in in a step-by-step uh, step, um, try the basics once and 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 the next uh, iteration you can can bring in something new to get you started um, the simplest thing is to go to tabletopia.com mm -hmm. then you you will probably need a registered user but then you simply type DevOps. There's only one DevOps game on, on, on Tabletopia, luckily. And then you click on this one. And then you get the, the, the games page. And this gives you all the information you need. So you got a um, link to my website. You get the, the, the sheets that I've been showing here. The, the account balance sheet and the incident calculator are linked on the, on the page. Um, facilitator guide, so the uh, full text of, of uh, how to do this game. Um, you can read up front before you do this in, in your team. The slides, the PDF of the slides I've been showing to, to start with, it's all there. So everything you need will be available, is, is available from this front page. And starting the play is just play, not play hot seat, but play online. And then you have the same setup like we just did today. Uh, it is uh, free or for companies? It is entirely free wow yes how is their living how is their what uh, living. yes uh, which uh, income in such case from this uh, um, well I, I checked with tabletopia they only allow uh, paid games um, once you have at least 500 hours of playing and currently i'm on, on 92 so no, no, no. not there uh, yet but I must from, from tabletopia oh tabletopia well yeah. they, they make they make money from uh, um the the creators and also the players because a default player only can can have one or two games played at the same time but the real hardcore gamers will will have um game sessions that go on for several days on, on different tables maybe um and also the, the creators i had to create an, uh, an account to to make more than one game so uh, ah, a default account a default account only it. allows you to make a single game yeah and uh, which language what it is uh, do you know what is behind um Form? well you don't have to do, do any development it's it's a uh, what's the interface uh, it's 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 a common common uh, interface that, that the front end that, that can be that it's that's cross platform uh, unity it's unity based so the 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 the, uh, the entire front end is unity based you don't have to do any coding yourself you don't you only have to provide a lot of graphics so mm -hmm. all the cards all the tokens all the dice all the boards everything is is an image that you have to upload and position and and define the the, the magnetic spots and so on Ah, so it is like a Lego for uh, game creation. Sort of, yeah. And there's no game, no uh, games uh, rule engine behind it because it's 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 a a, a, a table game simulator, mm -hmm. like a normal board game doesn't have any um, um, rules engine either. So it's just the same thing. You have the the, the basic the, the the simulation of of mm -hmm. your uh, board game. That's all. That's interesting. And just in case you wanted to try this live, don't know mm -hmm. if you can see this. Your whole screen went just to the okay. background. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Um, can I? No, it won't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to do this um, like this. You have a physical game, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. 
Ah. Indeed. So the, 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 the box also exists now. I just had my sample print a few weeks ago. Um, it's a sample print. There might be some little changes to be done. That's all. But um, then I can start selling these ones as well. That that's so exciting. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I, really, uh, I really like the game. I uh, really like it. I think it offers a lot of opportunities uh, for more, more simulating more scenarios. In particular, right. this, the, the you know, work strategies and decision making along mm -hmm. all the real so problem yep. solving. You can even add conflict management there, yeah. removing yeah, yeah, team members. There's a lot you can do with that one, really. All right. Great stuff. Thank you. My thought was um, actually, this, do you know, <clears throat> I, so my, my company kind of think they do DevOps and in a lot of ways they do, um, mm -hmm. but in a lot of ways they don't. And I think that this would be really nice for them at that level to play, to understand mm -hmm. really all of the parts to DevOps. So, you know, we have yep. pockets of real goodness, um, but the whole, it has to come through the whole flow cycle. And mm -hmm. that's what we're missing. So I think that would be really interesting. Even get business people in there with regards to the planning piece and how that affects the rest yep. of it. Yeah. yeah. So this the, the, main, the main driver why I started making this game was because I had some experience several years ago. The, the idea came up in, in 2018 yeah. already, I think, or 19, 2019, early 19, that I... Um, had experienced a, a serious misunderstanding from someone from middle management about, about what DevOps was about. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should make a game about it. And mm -hmm. it was the same day that I started the first meetup with my uh, with the Scrum and simulation that this, this idea popped up. So uh, uh, it took a while to get this, this, uh, this game done. So the first testable version was um, available almost two years later, so end 2020. Um, I could announce it on, on LinkedIn that I was looking for people to, to try this one out online to really um, do, do, do tryouts and, and try to improve the game. So, um, and I got really good feedback to make it, to make it better. So that's, uh, that's the result of it. You know what I visualize, Kun? Uh, if you use little figurines like Lego, Lego, Lego people mm -hmm. in 3D, Running around in your board and holding all discussions. This this would be a killer movie for developers. Uh, <laughs> running on your board, flipping cards, doing the work, moving dots. That would be just imagine. It would be awesome. Okay. But great stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I think you did an excellent job highlighting how, um, as an individual who has a de multiple DevOps engineering teams, like my engineers would have, you know, they'd be bored by this. But this sells the message to people who are like combination teams and biz, you know, particularly mm -hmm. business individuals, because then they learn how hard it is to have to make a decision about the future when you don't know certainty. Yep. And so definitely way more, I, I could, but I could also see like my, you know, my management panicking with the language on the board, like, no, we don't know what we're talking about, we talking about refactoring? but in reality, you're, you're actually talking, you, this is very, far more important for them to understand what technology does. Absolutely. And, and just to, what technologists already do, right? Yes. So for anyone, yep. any new team or like any business, cater to that. So like the encouragement is like the title, I could see why people would be turned be turned off by the title because I think it's a, a perfect, but I also work in engineering, right? But my mm -hmm. managers would would never play this based on the title. But that's just a that's feedback. Totally don't make you from what I say. <laughs> well, in that case, I have a new name for you. Could call it the DevOps Wars, the Hunger Wars, <laughs> the DevOps Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Brianna is totally right. I'm sure it would it would radically improve track to the tra uh, traction. But again, for business people, for or, awareness session, mm -hmm. or do it, do an experiment. Same game, two different titles. Sell both. See which one makes more money. <laughs> or sales teams, they will kill each other. It will be really Hunger Games. Except for I think Hunger Games is copyrighted. <laughs> I'm afraid so. <laughs> oh, I said the DevOps games, the DevOps wars. Yeah, like the Devo, like the Hunger Games, like DevOps Wars, like. Uh... <laughs> That's great. I think it's up to us to package it right when we try and take it to our business people to play with them, because you need somebody from technology to kind of mm -hmm. be 
that product owner, I think. Yeah, um, and, and, and really so take the time. The yeah, sorry. Really take the time to read all the cards because in, in, in a time span yeah, of an hour and a half, you don't have the time to read everything to get to get used to everything. Physical cards are more easily to 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 pick them up and and, and read what's what's on it, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe there's less tendency to start clicking on all the cards. But it's really important to to uh, to start looking at all what's on the board first before you start moving things. Mm-hmm. Cohen, is there a way we can order the the physical game? Yeah. Um, I think it's easier to to be to be shipping this within Europe than than outside Europe, of course. Um, I need to check what. Yeah, I need to check because because I ordered these. Um, it's it's print on demand, but it's 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 um, Carta Mundi. It's 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 a Belgium uh, card manufacturer and, and and games manufacturer that I use for this. Um, but the the um, I really need to check in in the uh, what what the uh, the conditions are to to export these to the United States. So if I'm it is sure Belgium, it is nearby. <laughs> <laughs> For you, most likely, yes, because I'm from Belgium as well. Um, <laughs> but for, within Europe, it's it's no problem to ship at at a lower rate, but but uh, abroad, we really have to check what first what the uh, the shipping cost is, and second, what the uh, the the import taxes will be. But that's something to check out. That's now the same for UK. I've just realized. Now, that. yes, <laughs> unless you do a city trip to Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we look forward to hearing about the black market, you know, sales. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, your current simulation, yeah, yeah. Sell them at the the airport, duty free. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) On your way out of the country. Yeah, people passing each other in the airport, pass handing off DevOps 